Hey there! Welcome back to the balance work. Have you ever felt like quitting your job, but your boss just won't let you? Maybe you're thinking, should I just leave without telling anyone? Well, let's talk about it. It is important to weigh the pros and cons before making a big decision. You might be super unhappy and want to leave right away. But quitting without telling your boss could mess up your professional reputation and make things awkward at work. 1. Keep your cool. Try to stay calm and think before you act. It might feel good to quit on the spot, but it's better to slow down and consider your options. If you decide to quit, be professional about it. 2. Give proper notice. Tell your boss you're quitting before your last day if you can. This is called giving notice. It helps your boss find someone to replace you and keeps things smooth at work. The usual notice is two weeks, but it can vary. 3. Be professional and polite when you quit. Be nice and respectful when you quit, no matter how much notice you give. Thank your boss for the opportunity and explain your reasons calmly. This helps maintain a positive relationship. 4. Have a plan. Have a clear next step, whether it's a new job, starting a business, or taking a break. This will help you feel less stressed about quitting. 5. Be ready for the consequences. If you quit without notice, your boss might be upset. It could also cause problems for you later. You might be unable to use your boss as a reference, which could hurt your relationship with them. 6. Check employment contract rules. Check your contract before you quit. Some employers have rules about quitting without notice, which could lead to legal issues. 7. Get your affairs in order. Make sure everything at work is settled before you leave. Finish any projects, help train your replacement, and gather important papers and information. 8. Quit in person. The best way to quit is face to face. If that's not possible, a phone call or email is okay. Avoid quitting via text or social media. 9. Have a positive attitude. Stay confident and happy about your decision. Focus on your future and be proud of yourself for making your best choice. 10. If your boss doesn't accept your resignation. If your boss tries to convince you to stay, listen politely but be firm. Don't let promises of raises or extra vacations change your mind. Stick to your decision. Some exceptional cases. Sometimes, your boss might have a good solution, like moving you to a different job within the company or letting you work from home. It's good to hear them out, but remember, the decision is yours. Understanding why your boss wants you to stay can help. It's usually about money and the company's success. Here are some reasons. 1. They don't want to lose money. Hiring and training a new employee costs money and time and might slow down the company's work. 2. They don't want to look bad. If you quit, it might reflect poorly on your boss. It makes them look like they can't keep good employees. 3. They don't want extra responsibility. Your boss might have to take on your tasks while finding a replacement, which can be stressful. 4. They don't want you to leave. Your boss might genuinely like you and enjoy working with you. Your boss might threaten to sue, but usually, they can't. There are exceptions, like if you signed a special contract or take secret info to start a new business. But in most cases, they can't sue you for quitting. If your boss is having difficulty, HR can help. They can mediate and even help you find a different job within the company. So, if you're in a tough spot, talk to our Ultimately, do what's best for you. Quitting might be the right choice, but think it through and be prepared for what comes next.